Okay, so let's do this one. Determine the energy um, of a mole of photons with a wavelength of 1.2 times 10 to the negative 8th meters. So we've got the wavelength. And we're going to have to figure out the frequency of this first to determine the energy. Okay. So in order to determine the frequency, we have to do this same problem again. Right? So frequency equals C divided by wavelength. second if you want to keep it in that. So you might as well keep it in per second because you're going to have to use that um, to cancel out numbers when you plug it into the Planck's equation using Planck's constant. Okay. So um, <coughs> Planck's constant given to you, and of course Avogadro's number will be given to you too. And this is, in this case, what are we doing? Dealing with photons. So this is photons per mole. Um, so, what did we say? We want to determine the energy of one. Yeah. Where did you get that number from? Which one? The H. H. This is Planck's constant. This is going to be given to you. Okay. Yeah, so do you, have you guys gone over Planck's equation yet? Yeah, she's has okay. different units. She has different units on it? Yeah, so joules, seconds. Second. Yeah, and then you're going to convert that. Um, this is the same thing, okay? So, joule second is the same thing as this. Um, joule second is just second squared. Joules is meters squared kilograms second squared times seconds. So seconds divided by second squared is seconds. Does everybody understand what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay, so um, do, I can do that no, conversion. It's fine. Don't worry do you guys got it? Okay. So again, joule seconds is the same thing as this right here, okay? So uh, what do we got here? So let's write down. Uh huh. NA? That's Avogadro's number. So, Avogadro's number. So, we'll do it this way per one second. So, in this case, B equals NHB, okay? So if we're doing it for one photon, N is one, okay? For one photon. And so when we do that, if we want to cancel out photon, photons, we can think of this frequency of one photon. Want to go so far as to cancel those units out.
So, I guess we're doing that derivation in the problem. I guess I should have thought about that. Okay, so would you expect this to be a big number or a small number if it's only one quote? Small, right? Small. So if you got a big number, then you probably have done something incorrectly. So 1.6, or I guess since we've got to do it to 266, 1.7 times 10 to the negative 17. And then like we were saying, meters squared, kilograms, second squared is joules. So, do you guys need me to do that for you? So, let's just do it. So, meters squared, kilograms, second times second. I mean, second squared, like that. So, that equals 1.7 times 10 to the negative 17 joules. So, if we wanted to figure out what the energy of one mole of these photons was, the only thing we change is N to be Na. Is everybody okay with that? Do, should we calculate that one? Let's just calculate that one out since we talked about it at the beginning. Are there any questions on this one? Ladies, questions on this one? You got it. Okay, can I erase this bottom down here? So instead of that, we're going to have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd photons. So if you want to think of it, photons. So we'll just take that number that we had before and multiply it by. And in this case, you should get a big number. So, since you have to do it to two sig figs, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, six. Yep. Everybody else can just answer? Any questions on this one? Yes. So, yeah. So, I mean, I just had the answer stored in my calculator of these two times one, you know, and then so I just multiplied it by Avogadro's number in my calculator. But, yeah, you have to multiply the thing all the way across to get that number. And you would expect it to be a big number, right, because it's a mole of photons at this point in time, right, as opposed to just one photon, which would be a very small number. Yeah? Um, is it possible to use it in law um, yeah, so do it, th do it this way. It's so much easier. Just okay. do it this way, you know? Just do it this way. I can get that, but I don't know how. Well, let's, let's kill the video and then check it out, okay?